In this video, we're going to learn how to add vectors graphically. Uh, I believe I'm going to save the algebraic edition for uh, the next video. We're going to learn how to add them graphically. Vectors are interesting beasts. Uh, you probably know, hopefully you know, if you've been watching videos about vectors, that a vector is a magnitude plus a direction, which is why we, um, we represent them with arrows, right? The length of the arrow represents its magnitude. And then, of course, the direction of the arrow tells you in what direction that vector is pointed. But one of the things that makes vectors a very useful mathematical construction is that as long as I don't change the magnitude, that is, the length of an arrow, or the orientation, that is, as long as I don't change the angle it makes with either or any of the three axes, if I'm in three dimensions, if I don't change the angle or the length, I can actually put the vector wherever I want to. That is to say, I can take its tail, which is the part here, and I can put it wherever. I can, uh, and of course, that'll move the tip as well. Uh, but that is a that is a property that comes in very handy for vector addition. Very often, you will be asked to add two vectors together. So what I'm going to ask, and what I'm going to show, rather, you how to do is to add in this case the vector a plus b. So the first thing I would say is that vector addition results in another vector. The vector a plus the vector b is going to be equal another vector. Let's call it, to be uh, alphabetically complete, c. We're going to call it the vector c. So how do I do this graphically? Well, very simple. I take the vector b, which I, obviously I don't have drawn on here. Uh, I take the vector b and I position it such that the tail, that is to say the starting point of B, lies at the tip or the ending point of A. The ending point or the tip is where I have drawn this, the arrow part of it, right? It's that point right there. So I'm going to take the tail of vector B and I'm going to paste it onto the tip of vector A. So let me show you what that looks like. It looks so the vector b here is minus 2i plus j hat. I'm sorry, minus 2i hat. I should be complete here. Plus j hat. Very often, if you're in class with me, I'm not going to say the hats of the i hat or j hat. I'm just going to say 2i plus j. But I'm going to, I'll try to say the hats here to remind you that these are unit vectors because I realize this is new at this point. So what this means is I'm going to move two units, uh, I'm sorry, minus two units in the x direction. So I'm going to go. Uh, negative two units in the x direction and then one positive unit in the y direction right so I'm gonna move if I can just draw it up uh, just to give you an idea minus two units in the x direction plus one unit in the y direction to make sense alright now let me show you what that actually looks like um, so if I start here it looks like I'm gonna end up about here about where I've drawn the dot. Let me show you how I get there. I might have to do this a couple times. Uh, I will try to draw the. Um, I will try to draw the the vectors carefully, but I might. Oh, I actually turned out pretty well. I'm doing this with my finger, so sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, or sometimes it gets where I want it to and sometimes it doesn't. So there's my vector B. Now let me change colors and show you how I got there. All right. I went minus two units and no, I shouldn't use that color. That's what I used for A. Uh, let's go with blue. I went minus two units in the x direction, and then change colors again. Uh, something I haven't used yet: purple, and then one unit in the y direction. Right. So the blue and purple vectors are my component vectors of the vector B. That's how I got there. But for this, uh, I think they just kind of dirty up the picture, so let me get rid of them. And this is what I'm left with. This is, uh, this is the vector A plus the vector B, which is what I've shown. This is vector B. So now, let's see how I find vector C, uh, which is the summation of the two, right? Well, it's just going to be, let me get a different color here. Uh, the vector that goes from the tail of A, that is to say the origin, all the way to the tip of B. So there is my vector C. 
And it looks like my A is my A is closer to the vector C. The A goes with the red vector. The C goes with the blue vector. So it's quick and dirty. It's an easy way to graphically add vectors. So let me just recap it really fast. I started out with the vector A. I put the uh, the tail at the origin, although I don't have to. Uh, in this case, it's just easier, or it's easier to see. And then I added to the vector A the vector B. I did that graphically by drawing the vector B such that its tail starts at the tip of A, and then B goes where it wants to, right? It goes two, negative two uh, units in the x direction and positive one unit in the y direction. And then I drew another vector. I drew the vector sum, C, from the tail of A, that is to say the tail of the first one, to the tip of B, to the tip of the second one, right? Where I started the whole process to where I ended the whole process. So I, I hope this looks a little bit like uh, what we've been doing in previous videos with the component vectors, right? In those cases, we started out with a vector and then resolved it into its components. In this one, we're taking the quote-unquote components, they are some sort of components of vector C, and then putting them together to find the resultant vector, right? We call C the resultant. A plus B equals C. We say that C is the resultant vector of the vector addition A plus B. All right, and then you know if I want to know how long C is, I can measure it. If I've been really careful with how I've drawn my vectors, then which is why I'm doing this on graph paper and trying to be uh, you know, a little bit rigorous about where I'm starting and stopping. If I do that really well, I can measure the vector C. I can take a protractor. I can measure the angle of vector C. As long as I'm really careful with how I draw it, I can I can learn a lot of stuff about it. Uh, we're going to see in the next video this same process, uh, but we're not going to do it graphically, we're going to do it algebraically.